Europe is on the move. Hello, my fellow European citizens. Europe is on the move from electric vehicles and high-speed rail to debates about aviation emissions and urban mobility. The way we travel is changing faster every day. But are we really ready for this transition? Will the transport policies of Europe bring us closer to a cleaner and more sustainable future? Or will they create more challenges for businesses and consumers? Let's find out what Europeans think. Is Europe's push for electric transport realistic or are we moving too fast? It's realistic and we're not moving too fast. We t we've taken too long to get there already. I think it's a good idea generally. I think uh, I'd be very happy to see more and more electric vehicles. It's better for the environment, so yeah. I don't think that it's fast, huh? they have been preparing for a long time. I think we're moving too fast because uh, I don't think it's going to be doable. Fossil fuel is still the only thing we can rely on as of today. I think it's realistic. I think it's something we can do, yeah. Can high-speed rail replace short-haul flights or do we still need aviation? We took the train from um, Amsterdam to Brussels and it was perfect. I think right now the rail industry is a bit of a mess and it's very challenging. But if they can figure out these issues, that would be probably a better way to get around. I think that short flights, they, sh they should be replaced. That's for sure. I would love to see a world in which this could happen. We have to give priority to the planet and don't be selfish and think about the future. It could be. It could be a good option. For the trains, for example, here in Belgium, we have so many delays. I think people generally will still feel that they need aviation. Will cities become fully car-free or is private transport here to stay? For us, it's here to stay. The more that we can make cities accessible, the more walkable they are, being from Canada, everybody uh, where I'm from, it's impossible to get around without a vehicle. And it's quite a tragedy. One of the reasons I love living here in Brussels is that I have been living here for over 10 years and I still don't need a car. A private transport, it will, it will stay, but it won't be as, as, uh, as big as it is right now. I think that the cars are here to stay for uh, quite a bit. Ideally, yeah, it would be really nice if we were car free um, for the environment but I think people still want their cars. Will automated self-driving vehicles, AI driven traffic systems make transport more efficient or create new risks? Both, both I think. I think there'll be real pluses but the whole world of AI has got real concerns about it and it's going too fast for anyone to try and legally control it. It's definitely creating new risks but I think in the long run uh, I think it has the potential to uh, actually solve a lot of issues, but uh, right now in the short term it's uh, also a bit scary because we can see that there are a lot of issues with self-driving vehicles, a lot of uh, things to be worked out. Technology could be in, in, in our side. Create new risks, I'd say, yeah, it's scary to think that <laughs> that might be the future. Public transport or private cars? For me, private. Uh, public transport. Public transport. Public transport, definitely. Public transport. Expanding highways or investing in high-speed rails? Investing in high-speed trains. High-speed trains, baby. I love it. So for us in Australia, um, the cars I think are still probably the way to go, but if we could organise it quickly and get it built quickly, it would be much better. They're so much more comfortable than buses, much more uh, comfortable, less hassle than, uh, than planes. So definitely, yeah. Investing in high-speed trains. Which is the smallest polluter? Cars, planes, trains or ships? Probably planes. It would probably be cars or planes, but I don't know for sure. Trains, I think. I'd say maybe ships. Maybe ships. Car types in the future. Petrol, electric or hydrogen? A lot of people are starting to say hydrogen. The fact that it creates almost zero pollution should be the best way forward. I would guess I would guess electric. I know that there's been a lot of lobbying done in Europe to promote hydrogen, so we'll see. I mean, it's also 10 years down the road, it might be a very different world for hydrogen. I think that electric is the best option. Most likely it will be a mix of three. Petrol will die out. It will be a mix of electric and hydrogen. The way we move is evolving and Europe is leading the charge. But are we heading closer to a smarter and greener future? Or 
Are we risking higher costs and travel restrictions? What do you think? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more information about the future of Europe. See you next time!